Cole, when I was growing up, battle royals like this were among my favorites. I remember wearing out my VHS tapes, watching them over and over and over. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to send a message. Check out Braun Strowman's offense. Tell me your thoughts on Turner. So tell us, oh, wise one, what's he got to do to win here tonight? This is awesome. Right now, we have in the ring six of conceivably WWE's most respected competitors. in a world of trouble. A move like that is completely unnecessary, unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Braun Strowman is a force within the ring. Check out Braun Strowman's offense. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. He hits the clothesline. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. Dropped by a clothesline. He is a one-man gang in there. Wow, that overhand punch started down behind his feet and just kept coming. Going for it all here. Choke slam! Did you see the height on that one? Big opportunity here. You're going to want to see your internist after a slam like that. And he hits a hellacious neck breaker. Counter here. No, he reverses it.
That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. Oh, I think this man means business. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Unleashing it for the second time now. And he goes down hard. Yeah, and I think he might have slipped a little too. physical condition I've ever seen him in. He misses the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. Looking to cripple him with that neck breaker. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Turner is definitely fading a bit here. He needs to find a way to get on the offensive, guys. Hey, I respect his level of respect just as much as the next guy. But when you're inside that ring, sometimes you have to throw respect out the window and just go right at your opponent. And the splash connects. And he hits a vicious neck breaker. I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher could be used at any moment here. Ain't no stopping him now. Six of WWE's most alpha personalities all competing in the same match. There's a good chance this one ends deteriorating sooner than later. Takes him down in a major way, too. And he goes down hard. That move at this juncture of the match makes the intention unmistakable to be little. He doesn't appear to be in a hurry to get up here. I just don't think he has it in him anymore.
Not going to win many matches with that move. Just toying with the competition a little. Oh boy, he is rolling. Counters that one. He wants it one more time. And he lands the slam. Can't waste any time here. Using the boot here. You'd have to think hitting the finisher here could end this thing. And there's the victory. What a six-man match. To be the last one standing is beyond amazing, Michael. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.